Hello. I accepted all of the terms and conditions, but stuff still happened. So what's up? Gobbler's Knob. It's called Gobbler's Knob. That's the place where we yank a magical groundhog out of a stump to ask it about the weather. If you are not familiar with the ritual that is Groundhog Day here in the US, it's a literal holiday where a bunch of dudes in tuxedos pull a groundhog out of a stump at a place called Gobbler's Knob. They then talk to the groundhog, whose name is Puxatani Phil, and they ask him how long until spring's gonna arrive. And then everyone hears the prediction and we're like, wow, did you hear about that this year? Dang, we did that again, huh? Regardless, the magical meteorologist has said that spring is gonna come soon. Uh, Global warming, I guess. This groundhog is real tapped into fossil fuels. Anyway, this is the perfect example of something I'm actually super into. Like, I don't care about Groundhog Day, but its existence makes me happy. Knowing America, I'm sure there's some like egregious history behind it. But the notion of a bunch of people getting together and pulling a groundhog out of a stump because weather, that's just very human. What's also very human is fighting for a better quality of life in France and the EU. I wanna start this off by saying, again, uh, climate change, real bad. And we did a lot of bad things to get here. And by we, I mean massive corporations and the politicians they purchased. Not we as in you for not recycling that one can that one time. But as we're looking towards the future and hopefully having a planet still, we're trying to figure out ways to fix that. And unfortunately, the ways that we're looking into largely just dump on the little guy instead of targeting the problem at its core. And so all around the world, but in this case, France and the EU, farmers have been getting hit with increased taxes and more regulation and all this stuff because agriculture is to blame. And if we're gonna blame agriculture, we might as well blame it on the farmers too. Let's ignore the fact that we've spent the past several decades moving from agriculture to agribusiness, despite all the farmers saying this is a bad idea. Nope, now that you've been having to meet our demands for the past however long, you suddenly have to change everything and deal with the cost. And so farmers and those who are standing in solidarity with them in France and beyond in the EU have been protesting and striking and blocking roads using their equipment and going hard, doing what they do best. They're basically saying, hey, you can't just place all this burden on us. How the hell are we supposed to feed our family? How are we supposed to have a future while we're doing all of this work? This has been going on for several weeks, but there has finally been some progress as now two major farmers unions in France have called for a pause to the protest, citing that they've had productive talks with the government. We are far from like, you know, being done with this and getting them all the things that they deserve. But it's a reminder that we need to actually be thoughtful about how we move forward. This doesn't get solved by punishing the farmers. This gets solved by changing the system that created the problem to begin with. Stand in solidarity and in holding people accountable. Speaking of holding people accountable, I have someone I want to hold accountable. Hideo Kojima, creator of the Metal Gear Solid franchise and my arch nemesis. Sony recently held their State of Play live stream in which they announced a whole bunch of games that were coming out this year and also stuff from Hideo Kojima. He announced the sequel to the game that stars Norman Reedus and has a character named Die Hard Man. It's gonna be called Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Yep, Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Presumably there's gonna be a beach and maybe we'll be able to take Norman Reedus to some exquisite locations like Gobbler's Knob. He also announced a new IP called Fizzent, in all caps, and it's supposed to be more like his original espionage action Metal Gear Solid stuff. Just let me rest, Kojima, please. I just want to go to bed. There's also a Silent Hill 2 remake, and, and there's a new game by Team Ninja. Kojima, let me sleep. I haven't slept since Metal Gear Solid 2 because I'm still confused. Anyway, the United States is mad because someone else has a crush on drone strikes. And so now we're engaging in one of our favorite pastimes, bombing the Middle East. Yes, the US is bombing Iraq and Syria after three service members from the US were killed by a drone strike from militias that were presumably backed by Iran. Three US service members were killed, and so we've launched over 100 bombs at like 85 plus targets, using drone strikes and bombers, all that stuff. Why are we there in the first place? Colonialism. According to National Security Boy and Smash Bros mainstay John Kirby, quote, the goal here is to get these attacks to stop. We're not looking for a war with Iran. Yeah, the Biden admin is currently patting themselves on the back, being like, yeah, we're just doing like, some bombings, not like war grade bombings, just, just your, you know, playful bombings. 
And meanwhile, the Republicans are criticizing old Joe, saying he's not going far enough and should do way more and, and blow everything up. Because we may not have federal abortion rights. We may not have affordable college tuition. We may not have reasonable health care. But we sure can't bomb the hell out of places. And isn't that what God's really all about? Look to the sky, because today's moon phase is a years overdue library book that you found in an old box of stuff while you were cleaning out a closet. I would recommend that you return it, but the library that you checked it out from probably doesn't exist anymore. Lightning round. After participating in violence against Palestinian citizens in the West Bank, the Biden admin has sanctioned four Israeli settlers. Here's the what. Elmo somehow managed to become like the center of a whole bunch of people's venting sessions on the internet after tweeting, how's it going? According to recent research, Gen Z boys are more upset about feminism than even boomers are. Now, I want to be clear that this is still a minority of Gen Z boys, just the ones who like watch Andrew Tate, the tater tots, if you will. Dovetailing off of that, Spotify just signed another $250 million contract with Joe Rogan. Finance. Microsoft and Google had less than expected earnings results, which is funny because AI is supposed to save everything. They maintain that it's still early, uh, but can we just stop hearing about AI for a second? And finally for today, because we can't stop hearing about AI, Google is already renaming their AI assistant from Bard to Gemini because they can never just stick with one name. Remember Hangouts? Like the original one? <laughs> that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you are going to rename Google's AI to next. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Thursday. Take care and be well.